Let's answer professional education questions from the CBRC Yellow Book. Before that make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so I can help you prepare for the exam regularly. So, without any further ado, let's get into the test items. You can answer the question within 10 seconds. After that, I will give the correct answer followed by explanation. 1. This is the highest level of cognitive process according to Gagne. A. Rule learning. B. Problem solving. The best answer is B. Problem solving. Problem solving. The highest level of cognitive process according to Gagne. It develops the ability to invent a complex rule, algorithm or procedure for the purpose of solving one particular problem, and then using the method to solve other problems of a similar nature. 2. Which objective in the effective domain is the lowest level? A. To accumulate examples of authenticity. B. To respond positively to a comment. The best answer is A. To accumulate examples of authenticity. Accumulate means to receive, which is the lowest level of the effective domain. 3. Which learning principles is the essence of Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences? A. Almost all learners are linguistically intelligent. B. Intelligence is not measured on one form. The correct answer is B. Intelligence is not measured on one form. This suggests that human intelligence can be differentiated into eight modalities. Visual spatial, verbal linguistic, musical rhythmic, logical mathematical, interpersonal, intrapersonal, naturalistic and bodily kinesthetic. Each student have different ways to learn and acquire information. The understanding of which types of intelligence may possess can help teachers adjust teaching styles, and suggest appropriate career path for learners. 4. Which teaching activity is founded on Bandura's social learning theory? A. Modeling. B. Interactive teaching. A. Modeling. Social learning theory, proposed by Albert Bandura, emphasizes the importance of observing, modeling, and imitating the behaviors, attitudes, and emotional reactions of others. 5. For city-bred students to think that their culture is better than those from the province is a concrete example of a. Ethnocentrism b. Ethical relativism The correct answer is A. Ethnocentrism. Ethnocentrism is the act of judging another culture from the perspective of one's own. Teacher John teaches the idea that it is wrong to think that Filipino lifestyle, products and ideas are inferior to those of other nationalities, he fights against. A. Ethnocentrism. B. Xenocentrism. The correct answer is B. Xenocentrism. Xenocentrism is the desire to engage in the elements of another's culture rather than one's own. Inferior means lower. According to teacher John, it is wrong to think Filipino lifestyle, products, and ideas are low grade with others. Therefore, he is against xenocentrism. 7. Which statement on true authority is correct? A. It acts in the best interest of others. B. It seeks its own satisfaction and privilege.
The best answer is A. It acts in the best interest of others. True authority is concern about the society's needs. 8. Principal J invited an expert to speak and answer questions on the issue of cybercrime among faculty and senior students. What kind of discussion was held by the school? A. Panel discussion. B. Symposium discussion. 9. The best answer is B. Symposium discussion. A symposium is usually participated with expert, as a speaker, and audience as listeners. The entire group participates by listening to the speaker. After the speech, the audience can ask questions from the speaker. On the other hand, panel discussion is consists of group of experts discussing a certain topic. There is a moderator who regulates the proceedings, guiding the panel towards the agreement. 9. Learning is influenced by social interaction and interpersonal relations. What must a teacher do? A. Make students feel good about themselves. B. Make students work collaboratively. 10. The answer is B. Make students work collaboratively. Social interaction means collaborative work among students. 10. Tests should be non-threatening, but which of the following actually threatened students? A. Surprise quiz. B. Scheduled exam. The best answer is A. Surprise quiz. It can be threatening for students when teachers give surprise quizzes, especially when students did not study for it or prepared for it. While, scheduled exam can be non-threatening, because students already know that there will be an exam and they are given enough time to study. 11. What kind of classroom may have harmful effects to preschoolers along academic orientation or structures? A. Adaption to age, maturity, cultural capabilities. B. Highly academic direct instruction. The best answer is B. Highly academic direct instruction. Preschoolers learn more useful lessons through playing, exploring, and socializing, as they did in traditional nursery schools and kindergartens. According to the article Early Academic Training Produces Long-Term Harm, kindergarten teachers are extremely upset by the increased pressure on them to teach academic skills to little children, and regularly test them on such skills. Also, they can see unhappiness with the children. Their suspicions are well validated by research studies. 12. The teacher is obliged to ensure certain qualities in choice and use of assessment instruments. What was not observed when teacher Emma gave a test that included materials that were not covered by class lessons? A. Validity. B. Reliability. The correct answer is A. Validity. It is the degree to which the test measures what is intended to measure. And teacher Emma's test were the lesson not covered by the class, thus validity was not observed. 13. Teachers evaluate students' achievements, because A. They want to know how their student perceived their method of teaching. B. They want to know if they are able to reach the goal of their teaching efforts. The best answer is B. They want to know if they are able to reach the goal of their teaching efforts. It is important to know what impact teachers give for the students to be able to know what's working, and eliminate what's not. 14. Among standardized tests, which is to measure cognitive abilities, and administered either as a group or individual test. A. Intelligence test. B. Achievement test.
The correct answer is A. Intelligence test. Consequently, cognitive ability tests is called intelligence test or general mental ability test. While achievement tests are developed to measure skills and knowledge learned in a given grade level, usually through planned instruction, such as training or classroom instruction. 15. Of the following, which demonstrates the principle that the good end does not justify the illegal or immoral means. A. Students form a peer group to pass the course. B. A principal collects money from students to set up a computer laboratory. Answer, B. A principal collects money from students to set up a computer laboratory. The good ends represents the good outcome, and the illegal or immoral means represents the bad method or bad actions used to get that result. Sixteen. It is one very important type of communication skill which is receptive in nature and requires one to be very alert. A. Reading. B. Listening. The right answer is B. Listening. This requires alertness to receive all significant information. 17. What kind of assessment helps teachers determine gaps in learning a subject matter? A. Formative assessment. B. Summative assessment. The best answer is A. Formative assessment. This increases student engagement, allowing students to take ownership of their learning. As teachers clarify learning targets and share immediate feedback, they can identify gaps in student learning, and fill those gaps. 18. Margot is already in college. What reading activities should she be guided on the following stages or period of continuity or progression in developmental reading? A. Reading readiness. B. Refinement in the use of reading materials. The best answer is B. Refinement in the use of reading materials. As a college student, studying will always have a lot of reading. Thus, Margot needs to refine her reading skills to get into the most relevant information possible. 19. Teacher Lily manages a nursery class. What stage or period of reading should she observe in teaching reading skills to her pupils? A. Reading readiness. B. Beginning reading. The best answer is A. Reading readiness. It is defined as the point at which a person is ready to learn to read and the time during which a person transitions from being a non-reader into a reader. 20. Which of the following opinions about books is about the sensible delight they give the reader? A. A man without book is like a body without a soul. B. A book is a garden in pocket. The best answer is B. A book is a garden in pocket. A book is always something that provides enlightenment, information or something new to the reader. A book contains ideas that are bigger than one can imagine, it provides new experience. The same with nature, one can learn a lot from mother nature. Even early age humans learned basic things from nature like lighting up a fire. So the common thing that both books and nature give is a tremendous experience that can progress oneself. This quote is from a land of Arabia which shows the importance and usefulness of a book making it similar to Mother Nature. Thank you so much if you're still watching this far. To give you more review materials, click the end screen right now. This is the other segment for CBRC Yellow Book Reviewer, with explanation. Good luck and study smart.